Well, I'm not going to waste any time now. Let's straight across go to our panelists joining us today. Narayan Tirupati of the BJP is with us. We also have Mr. Kovai Satyan of the AIDMK joining us today. Dr. Narayan Lakshman, Associate Editor, The Hindu is also joining us today. I'll go across to Mr. Satyan firstly. Mr. Satyan, firstly, what's the objection here? Is it to the fact that uh, Mr. Annamalai says that she believed in Hindutva or practice Hinduism? Because as far as Mr. Annamalai, he's not drawing a fine line here. He's, he's almost saying that both are the, are the same. He's not saying, you know, Hinduism is a way of life. He's saying Hindutva is a way of life. And more importantly, sometimes we've had some political parties and some representatives who've said Hindutva is different from Hinduism. So what's the real objection here, if you could clarify to our viewers? My opening remark is, Annamalai is a political novice. And all his statements are his half-baked understanding about ideologies, philosophies and way of life. What Annamalai stated about Hindutva by the court is not about Hindutva. It's about Sanatan Dharma. The eternal natural way of life is what they observed about. To suit his narrative, just trying to stay relevant and occupy the media spaces, he has become a rabble rouser in the Tamil Nadu political circle. Our party, one of the strongest ideologies of AIADMK is all are one, God is one. We are in the 52nd year of our party and nowhere we have taken any stand based on caste, creed and religion. Yes, our Amma is a strong follower and believer of God Almighty. When people used to criticize her as a Brahmin lady, Brahmin lady, she outrightly said, yes, I am a Brahmin lady, so what? But she doesn't take sides based on caste, creed and religion. Amma is the one who gave free rice, free rice uh, to the Islamic Brotherhood to celebrate Ramzan Nethar party during the Ramlan period. She is the one who instituted going to Jerusalem by our Christian Brotherhood. When did our party deviated itself or our leader deviated itself, themselves from the ideology of Allah and God is one? What is Hindutva according to BJP? If Annamala is all price about Amma as the true leader of Hindutva, the champion of Hindutva ideologies is Mr. Modi. So does Mr. Annamala is going to say, is he, does he mean that our leader Amma is a greater leader than Modi by following Hindutva principles? Knowing that he is not going to have any political relevance after the uh, fourth, once elections are out in Tamil Nadu political circle, probably he is eyeing for his survival. If he thinks that AADMK is where he can survive next, we wholeheartedly welcome. How is the survival? Uh, uh, explain it to us. How are you saying this is survival for Mr. Annamalai? Then what is the need to make such a remark by now? At this juncture, during the last day of election, when the campaign is going to end, one of their candidates is going and visiting Amma's memorial. What is, if you want to sticker your achievements from AIADMK, have some shame. Go by your ideology, promote your ideology, talk to people, then promote yourself and your party. Why do you want to be a parasite? Why do you want to paint a picture of a parasite? Okay. Do you want to suck the blood of AIDMK and achieve okay, of this AIDMK, aspect, of this AIDMK, aspect of this aspect of him runs? leaning towards Jayalalitha, going to the memorial, this aspect will come to it. We'll come to it. We'll stick oh, point to point. That's First, BJP's we're talking about the statement that he made. I'll go across to Mr. Narayan Tirupati. Let's see what he has to say in defense. No, I finished Deepak. Does okay, let me Tamil let me get a response BJP from Mr. Narayan Tirupati and I'll come back to you, Mr. Satyan. So Mr. Tirupati, Mr. Tirupati, Mr. Satyan believes that. Jayalalitha, though claimed she was a Brahmin, she she always, you know, promoted all religions. She never stuck to one and, you know, didn't promote that as well. So why is he bringing it up right now? What is he going to gain from this is the question that's being asked. Oh, Jayalalitha. Uh, Mr. Tirupati, we seem to have lost you there due to a technical issue. We'll try and uh, connect you back. Meanwhile, I'll take that across to Dr. Uh, Narayan Lakshman. Narayan Lakshman, how do you really view the statement coming at this juncture from uh, Mr. Anamalai? Look, Deepak, uh, I, I, it's been known that Anamalai has put his foot in his mouth before. And as his uh, panelist said earlier, it led to the dissolution of the uh, AIDMK BJP pre poll alliance plan as it stood at that time. Uh, you have to situate it in the broader context of where is the BJP in the pantheon of political parties in Tamil Nadu? 
most of which, especially the two major, the DMK, the ADMK, draw their inspiration from the Dravidian movement. They are steeped in the Dravidian movement. Every one of their leaders was mobilized. The masses over the last half century has done so based on the Dravidian movement values. This is well established. If you want to rewrite history, good luck to you. There are many scholars who have written many PhDs and books on the subject. Okay, that's the first fact. Let's call a fact a fact. Secondly, as the Dravidian movement proceeded since 1967 to the modern day, it has always been an adaptable, changeable uh, phenomenon. It has always accommodated new caste groups. It has always changed its language in terms of original call for secession and autonomy and independence. It has become much more understanding of how it fits within the framework of the Indian Union, yet has to fight for state autonomy, yet has to fight for uh, you know, share of resources from the center and so forth. So it has always evolved. And part of that evolution has been to say whether even, you know, uh, Chief Minister uh, M.K. Uh, Stalin and his family, uh, you know, uh, personal beliefs, uh, you know, being under the rubric of Hinduism to whether Jailalita had Hindu beliefs that has never stood in the way of them as a public persona and in the context of policy making, espousing the values of Dravidian politics. So that included expenditure on social sectors. They were the Tamil Nadu was the pioneer of the noon meal scheme uh, under that umbrella. That included fighting against okay. centralist tendencies from Delhi, whether BJP these days or even Congress in the heyday. It was about fighting for the rights of the Tamil people as they were defined by these parties. So to try and rewrite history and to recast uh, uh, leaders, especially those who are no more and who cannot speak for themselves today as being part of the Hindutva brigade is quite nonsensical yeah. and frankly, it's an insult to the scholars of uh, the Dravidian movement and Dravidian politics. So, but Dr. Dr. Lakshman, correct me if I'm wrong it. here. Do you see it as an outside attempt to probably woo some of the AIDMK supporters, considering or probably having known that you know, without having the Dravidian voter base, probably the BJP isn't going to get too far? Is this a backdoor entry that Mr. Anamale is trying to woo the voters of the AIDMK, considering you know they've had depleting popularity after the demise of Jay Jalalita, not having a tall leader there? No, uh, Deepak, I must slightly disagree with some of the things you said. They don't have a tall leader of the stature of uh, JJ Vedita and MGR before her. But uh, Parni Sami, as chief minister, proved his credentials to a certain extent as a, an able governor of the state, a governing the state. Not governor, he was chief minister. He governed the state well. He brought policies that benefited the common man and woman. His challenge was how could he keep the party together in the face of terrible factional infighting that happened since the time of Jailalita? Because Jailalita herself, unlike the DMK said, never had an orderly succession planning and anointed a single leader. And therein you ask questions about the role of the Sasikala family, the conflict with OPS versus EPS. All of those things played out. But we know that today, the he uh, uh, Parni Sami, the former chief minister, won a judicial victory that consolidated power within the of the party in his hands he won the election symbol he still has the his record as governing the state th uh, during his time as chief minister to lean upon question is okay. can he still pull okay off? eps is a, is a good enough leader to carry forward jayalalitha's legacy but do you feel annamalai sees an opening or probably sees that this is the only way to probably tap into some of the jayalalitha supporters and eventually bring in the aidmk voter base towards the bjp is that for me? Yes. Are you asking me, Deepak? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Dr. I'm Lachman. not sure. Yeah. So, no, I don't think you can just win over voters uh, just by, uh, you know, utter making some utterances about what you think of what their former leader was. That's quite ridiculous. If that were the case, then anybody could win over leaders, uh, win over voters at any time. The fact is, you also have to ask, where does the BJP stand in the current scheme of things? They are not anticipated to win more than a few seats. They are anticipated to increase their vote share. Uh, but at the same time, you obviously cannot discount the DMK. They are the heavyweight in this election. You certainly can't discount the AIA DMK. And that was the point I was trying to make. They are going to be a performer of some sort in this election too. I, don't, I think it would be too early to discount them and just say that the BJP is the second uh, player in this election, however much they've been trying to say, screen that on social media. 
And that indeed is Anna Malay's main plan. Like you yourself said, or somebody said earlier in this program, his plan yeah. has all about been about staying relevant. I think my panelist here said it. He has to fight daily to be afloat on the news cycle. Therefore, he goes about making these utter utterances, which frankly sound ridiculous given the extensive scholarship on the Davidian movement and extensive scholarship and biographical information on each of these leaders. Nobody is denying that they may have had Hindu beliefs at a personal level. They may have even gone to temples. That's fine. They may have built believed in Ram Jamna Bhumi and helped the Kasiras. Okay. That's fine. There is no contradiction. As I said to you earlier, the Dravidian movement has always been about increasingly accommodating people from across the spectrum, so long as its core values can be defended. That stands for Tamil exceptionalism. That stands for state autonomy. That stands for standing against Hindi imposition. Okay. And it stands for, uh, it is generally stood away okay, Dr. from inter-religious conflict. Yes, there has been caste issues over time. But they have found resolution in the different manners across yeah. different parties. So this is a t attempted whitewash or rewrite. Okay, I believe Mr. Narayan Tirupati as well wants to come in. Okay, yeah. I believe.